Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Virgo, you guys got bring a gentle touch and take a leap of faith. You could be dealing with an earth sign or this could be you. I see two things here. I'm, I'm really getting like a romance vibe, but for anybody who's concerned with money, I feel like there is some sort of abundance that's going to come in. Um, and for any of you who are willing to like take the risk with take a leap of faith, if any of you, if any of you guys are planning on something like going back to school or, you know, whatever you're planning with this risk, um, they're saying that it will be abundant for you. Now, in terms of love, I feel like this is somebody trying to approach you. This is somebody who I feel like is trying to... I mean, it could be you as well. I, I feel like somebody's keeping a secret from you and they're trying to approach you. And I feel like that's what the secret is. Like the fact that they're trying to approach you, um, the fact that they're trying to like kind of get in your area. So, you know, maybe they might try to casually just bump into you or maybe, you know, they know where you work and they're gonna like kind of pass by where you work. Um, with the moon and the king of pentacles, I feel like that's somebody who's trying to, yeah, like they're trying to keep you, they, they don't want you to know that they're like what they're up to, but with bring a gentle touch and take a leap of faith, I feel like this is somebody taking a leap of faith towards you. This could be reversed and this could be you trying to take a leap of faith towards somebody. Let's see, but I'm getting that somebody might be trying to take a leap of faith towards you. And again, if this is anything to do with finances, then I feel like they're telling you like any leap of faith that you take right now is going to be successful. But let's pull more cards on this, Virgo. So Virgo, I'm getting two energies, like two storylines. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. First of all, I'm getting that there's this masculine energy who might be like looking at you. Um, again, like that's what I was getting in the meditative session. Like I feel like somebody here might be looking at you, like still energetically connected to you in some sort of way. But at the same time, I think you know that they're energetically connected to you. And I think that you're still, you're trying your best to kind of move on. That's what I'm getting here. Because I see here that this cycle with this person has kind of left you feeling exhausted. You know, not, not good. Like it, it hasn't, this person has not. I feel like we're getting an emperor empress energy we have every king out and then we have the empress out so i feel like we're dealing with a emperor and an empress i feel like like loving you know when loving someone just becomes toxic and loving them you know they're not showing you what you need in return they're not giving you what you need um they're you know it's it's fine to you know daydream about them but in, in reality it's kind of toxic that's what i'm getting with this person like i think that this person has just become some sort of toxic person in your life. And it wasn't, it may not have started off that way, but I think it has become toxic. And with the heaven and earth and the ten of cups in reverse, this is something that I, I think had a lot of potential. But unfortunately, I just see that it became toxic. It became toxic. And I think you understand that this person has made your life unbalanced and you understand that this person has really like affected you in a negative way like maybe not at first not initially but now like present day if i would say like how does this person how do you feel about this person i feel like you would say you know i can't wait to meet somebody new or i can't wait to you know finally like walk away completely from this person i can't wait to not talk to this person anymore like i'm just 
tired of this person having some sort of hold on me. And I feel like this person is losing their hold on you, Virgo. Like, I think that you might not know what they're up to, but I feel like you don't care. And maybe they keep what they do a secret. Maybe they like the fact that you're always hitting them up, like wondering what they're doing. But I feel like you're just stop. You're not giving a fuck. Uh, I'm being honest. Like, I just feel like you're not really going to give a fuck anymore. Like, I think, I think you're ready to drop this person. You're ready to drop them. With the Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Cups in Reverse, it's like you become more powerful in the knowledge that this person is the one that makes you imbalanced. Like this person, them keeping secrets from you or them keeping shit from you or them trying to like play games just makes you want to like leave them that much further, like that much faster. You know, like I just see that you're not, you're not down for it anymore. Like you're, it doesn't matter how much you love this person. It doesn't, I, I see with the 10 of cups, the ace of cups and the heaven and earth, like you had a lot of love for this person, but they just be, have become a burden. They have put you in an imbalanced energy and you're just ready to, you're ready to have a leap of faith. And I think they're still energetically connected to, I think they're still watching you. I think like, but I think this person likes to have a hold on you. This is some toxic ass person because they like the fact that you still give them energy and they like the fact that you still hit them up and they like the fact that you're thinking of them. But at the end of the day, like that's going to end. I see that here with the wheel. Like you're, you're going to take your losses and you're just going to move forward. I don't think that you're going to stick around anymore. Because I feel like actually getting rid of this person is going to bring so much abundance and balance into your life. I actually do think that. I actually think that like you separating yourself from this person, you moving on away from this person, you kind of saying, you know what, like I don't, you know, I, I'm done. Like I just don't have any more time or patience for you. Um, I have a lot of love for you, but you know, this has just become, you know, toxic. And I think that you're going to move on. That's what I see here. And I see this person, there might've been a third party involved here. There might've been a choice between lovers. I feel like they don't want you to end with this energy. Like they don't want you to take away your energy, Virgo, but I think you will. With the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands, this is somebody who I feel like they'll like apologize to you for what they do, but then they'll do it again. And they'll apologize again for what they do and they'll do it again. Or like they this is somebody who's like always like, yeah, I'm sorry. Or yeah, you know, like I won't do that again. But then like they do it again. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they're always doing the same shit over and over again. They don't learn. Um Yeah, we have Knight of Wands and King of Wands in reverse. This person can be a fire sign. I mean, they could be any sign. We have earth, fire, air. We have every, everything and cup. But I just see this person being really immature because I think this person just knows that you care about them so much and they know that you're not like trying to let them go in a sense. So they, they kind of feel like they can get away with anything with you. And I feel like you're finally putting an end to it. Like you're finally done like giving them the benefit of the doubt or trying to hear what they have to say and like hear their apologies and like, giving, you know, help, like always saying like, okay, well, I guess, you know, there was like, an, you know, some circumstance and I'm just going to have to deal with it. No, like, I think that you have come to realize that this person, they will always do this. Like they'll keep apologizing and then do whatever the fuck they want. You know what I mean? They'll apologize and do what they want. Apologize and do what they want. They might be talking to somebody else. I'm going to be honest. They might not be taking you seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this person has no love to give though. They have no love to give. Like they're just, I feel like an empty shell. Like just somebody who's so empty. They keep you around, you know what I mean? For whatever reason. But they don't make, like, they don't make solid plans towards you. And I think you're just tired of it. You're done with it. They're sitting in a nine of swords energy as they should be because I honestly think you're going to meet somebody new. The three of pentacles could be like you're meeting somebody new. You're going to meet somebody who's going to give you like the time of day. But I just see this being this toxic relationship being ended because you're going to move on. Like you're just so done with this. That's why I keep getting you're done with this. Look, the main male in the coffin, like you're just done with them. You're so done with them. You're so done with this person. You just could give a fuck at this point. Yeah, like it's very clear to you. It's been very it's become very clear to you that you don't belong with this person. Because if if you belonged with this person, this person wouldn't make you feel like, you know, anxious. This person wouldn't make you feel 
like you're not important or you know they wouldn't be prioritizing another person or they wouldn't be sharing their energy with somebody else i just see like your life is going to come so much more more abundant and imbalanced when you leave like you walk away from this person um yeah virgo and i think they'll get more clear on you um, they'll get clear on you eventually, but I just don't think that you're supposed to wait around for them to kind of figure their shit out. This is like you kind of doing what's best for you and what's best for you, I think, is to walk away from them. It's sad here, though, because I see I see how much you cared about this person, but I just see how ignorant they are. You know, they're so like... And it's kind of sad because I actually don't think they're ignorant. Like, I actually do think they know that you care about them, but I think that they're like that toxic person where it's like, you know they're a kind of uh energy vampire like they're taking your energy they like your energy they, they use it as fuel but then they go and talk to other people and they go do whatever the fuck they want you know what i mean and then they come back to you to recharge like you're not like allowing them to charge off you anymore that's what i'm getting like they are not allowing like they come to you to feel really good about themselves and then they'll go off and do whatever then they'll come back to you to like feel better and then they'll go back out like i just see you being like a fueling station for this person and that's probably why you've been feeling like if you've been feeling tired around this person or you just feel drained around this person it's because like i just feel this person's like so toxic you know but it's not a secret anymore you know it's like fool me one time fool me two times fool me three times i feel like it's past three already with you it's like how many things does this person have to show you that you know they're toxic but yeah, I see you moving on. And I see this being a happy moment for you. So don't take this as a loss. I don't really care what they're beginning to understand. I feel like they're beginning to under see like this connection. But this is someone who's like, you know, oh, well, you know, Virgo left and now I feel it. They're going to feel it 100%. They're going to feel it. They might want to come back around, take a leap towards you. But you're, you have other shit in, in your mind. Like you're not, you're not, even if they were to kind of come out and approach you, I just feel like you're really done and you should be really done. Because I'll tell you something about this person. This is the type of person who, yeah, we all like don't know what we have till it's gone. Like that's that's kind of true to a, a certain extent. But this person takes advantage of you. Okay, like let's like sh say straight up. Like I feel like they take advantage of you, and I feel like they understand that you will always love them and always give them energy and always give them attention. So that's why I feel like it's better to just walk away from them because I do see them coming back around. And playing the same fucking game that they always play, which is like, yeah, you know, I'm so sorry for, you know, not being around. Like, I want to start over. I want to, like, try again. All this bullshit. And it's, like, not true. Like, they'll never... I don't think this person's ever going to man up. You know, this is, like, a toxic person. So, yeah, congratulations, Virgo. When you turn the wheel yourself... I mean, only we can turn this wheel. But the fact that you're doing it for yourself. Like, you're doing it because you figure you know i love myself why am i doing this to myself <laughs> you know what i mean so this is like you gaining more self-love and i feel like that's what's putting you in empress mode the love that you have for yourself like what you want putting it above their wants and needs like they'll always want you they'll always desire you but they'll never give you what you need so they're what you want but they're not what you need do you know what i'm saying and it's it's sad because i do see that you love them but it's like fuck it they're not giving you anything so yeah, Virgo, keep going. You're turning the wheel. I think you, this person tries to keep a mysterious like way about them. I think they like to keep secrets. I think they like you to kind of feel like they're, you know, you never know what's up with them. But I just love the fact that like you're not going to even hit them up. Like you don't even care anymore what they're up to. And then this person's going to come back around with the lack of attention. Please just don't take them back. Please. This is like, like stop the games because this person will live in that game forever. And that's what you don't understand. Like, you might even be with a karmic at this point or somebody who's just testing you. Or put, you're putting yourself in a karmic situation by allowing this person to do the same thing over and over and over again. So kind of get yourself out of it because I don't see this person changing. I really don't. If I did, I would tell you. Like, I see, I do see a king of cup energy here, but I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy it because I feel like this person, they only come back around when you leave. Do you know what I'm saying? So what happens when you're available, 100% available to them? What happens when you're 100% like there for this person? What happens when you're, you know, you don't have anything to hide. You're always with them. They'll, they'll play games again. Like this is an unhealthy person. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's pull advice. Yeah. 
because Virgo, you love yourself, you're turning the wheel. I heard the song, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. They're gonna miss you. I don't, I don't feel any, I don't feel bad for this person at all. I'll, t I'll be honest, I don't feel bad for them at all. They did it to themselves. You have success here. If anyone here is trying to go off into like some sort of endeavor, they're telling you like it will be successful. I was getting that in the beginning. Like if you want money, if you want abundance, I, I just feel like you're going to be so much more abundant and so much better off when this person's like taken away from your energy because this is someone who takes and takes and takes away. So imagine how much energy you're going to have when you're actually focusing on yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? And then with boundaries, they're telling you to be careful with this person. Like I'm telling you, this person, they're going to miss you when you're gone. They're going to come back around. They're going to always probably try to come back around. Boundaries have to be very firm with this person. I'm sorry. Like I know like Virgos probably hate that shit. Like do I have to really think t three, four times about what I'm doing? Yes. Like that's how tricky this person is and that's how toxic I feel like they are. And then with Shekinah, that's what I'm saying. The presence of the divine feminine at the center of everything, there's light. And I am that light. You see, I think you're realizing like, you know, by loving yourself, you will attract someone who loves you of, you know, in that way loves you the way you love yourself but by being with this person i feel like it kind of has stifled your abundance stifled your growth like stifled everything because again they're taking your energy away imagine in this earth like everything is taken everything is made with energy right everything and is energetic and someone's taking all your energy so you're putting energy into work you're putting energy into school you're putting energy into all this shit and then somebody's coming and taking all your i feel like I, i'm picturing like a vacuum like they come and just take all the energy away um, and you're like left with nothing. So then when you go and do your own shit, your own endeavors, this person, it's like their shit is blossoming, but yours is not. And you wonder why it's because you're not even putting that energy into yourself. So I feel like this all has to do with that love for yourself. Like you're just like, fuck it. I love myself. I want my shit to grow. I could give a, f you know, you could care less about this person. You should. I, I still think you love this person and I think that's why they I have to keep warning you about these boundaries because this person they might be gentle towards you they might change it around they might be like oh my god I miss you so much I'm telling you guys this person is not going anywhere they have nowhere to go who's going to stand this person <laughs> trust me this is the type of person who needs to learn shit the hard way and we've all been that person who has to learn the hard way you know we've, I mean I've been toxic in my life like who, who hasn't been like toxic i mean i mean i've definitely been toxic in my life unfortunately and i have to learn th i had to learn things the hard way so this person needs to fall and then you're gonna fall and i think it has a lot to do with you to be honest so let this person fall take yourself away from this person's energy kind of retract yourself don't give them anything keep your boundaries firm they will be back again and again and again um but keep closing that door on them okay because that's how they get in and that's how they take your energy so close that door okay and see what happens like you know this person could be here f you know for a while they're stubborn they're low vibe it could take them a very long time to kind of reset but that's not your problem if you keep putting the energy into yourself i'm telling you so much abundance is going to flow into your life because you're focusing on yourself now okay i love you Virgo. i hope this helps and i'll see you next time bye